Hello everybody, we are back. Um, we're gonna obviously do another craft beer tasting tonight. Um, week one, we actually had so much going on, we didn't get to do it, so we're doing two this week. That way we can do what we guarantee, which was at least one craft beer tasting a week um, that we're gonna put out the material for. So <clears throat> we're in week two, so we're gonna have two materials to put out this week. So um, we'll be caught up with what we need to be. Um, tonight, <clears throat> we definitely got some we got a little bit of different, um, we come back from a little bit different of angles. When, when, when we're doing this, we want to get something that's, you know, kind of along the same genre and then maybe something that's a little bit more stronger um, that don't overpower the other ones. We always wait for the stronger one, like whether it be a stout or an IPA to kind of go in at the end so it don't leave an aftertaste yeah. that ruins the rest of the tasting. So tonight we're going to kind of stick to our guns with that, with that concept. We have <clears throat> the Jekyll uh, American, uh, America. Uh, amber ale <laughs> and it does say america on there uh and it's brewed out of alpharetta georgia it has the west coast wrapper ipa which is brewed right here in homewood alabama right down the road maybe 45 minutes from here um and this one right here um i think we've all tried this one or something's very yeah. similar to the kentucky Bur bourbon barrel uh, ale which you can't usually go wrong when you're making something that's brewed from a bourbon barrel um <laughs> But we're going to go ahead and start out. We're going to do the Jack, Jekyll uh, um, American America uh, L right here, right off the bat. America. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Of all those perfect weeks. Can we, can we finish the song? Late my. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll ease yeah, off on that. We may have some 13 or 14 year olds watching this, you know. And we're drinking beer from right. it. <laughs> but their parents are letting them tune, tune into a channel that's a real and a beer, so. Oh, uh, and they are staying up late to watch. Yeah, we're late. Well, this might not be air too late. But it is summer. It is. You're right. Get us all around the same ballpark, there, fellas. Nice yeah, little orange. All right. All right. So yeah, this pretty. is our America American Amber Ale from Jekyll Brewing Company, Alpharetta, Georgia. Sniff test, fellas. It smells like an amber ale. Yeah, it smells <laughs> like an amber ale. This is the cleanest one we've smelled so far, I do believe. I really had no head on it either. We just yeah. poured it and it just... Well, I, maybe that's who poured it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... It's a right. good bartender right there. I, I don't want to pull my own chain here, but let's, let's go in, guys. This, If water was a beer, I think this would be the beer. It's water with an iron... It's stereotypical. I mean, it's... To me, it's water with an iron it's aftertaste. Not bad. It's as much as I like... Um, don't have a lot of taste to it. It's, it's water like, with an you know, iron to, taste. Uh, say, you know, craft beers over fucking domestics and shit. I would rather have Budweiser than those. Give me yeah, I would too. Um, I'd read a little more into it. I always give it a second. it's 5.8. I always give it a second, though. It's still water with iron. It just don't have, like I said, don't really have much of a taste. Well, I tried a good bit of it at once, and yeah, it's not got a taste to it. I mean, just down it. I think it tastes like water with iron. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sticking to that. I'd, I'd give it like a three. It's not really a beer. Even though technically Newcastle's a brown ale, it's a watered down Newcastle. That's what it tastes like to me. To, to, to say this has anything to do with Newcastle, though... Insults Newcastle. Right. This would be like saying that. Sorry, uh, America. We actually chose England this time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God this wasn't 240 years ago. God, our tea <laughs> would be getting thrown into the harbor right, right. now. <laughs> this isn't tea, guys. It's just beer. Yeah, you guys settle down out there. But look, so, what did you give it? Uh, out of a ten. And we're talking about creme de la creme beers that we're going to be sampling over the yeah. next year. We have over 300 beers that we're going to be doing on this show as of right now. High end four. I'm somewhere in there, three or four. It's yeah, it's three. I would if somebody had it. If it's the only thing available, you know, and they said here, go grab a if beer. If it's between, thing, I'm gonna drink it, but at the same time, I'm not gonna go out of my. If way it's to get between this. that and, and still reserve, I'll drink that. I'd drink still reserve before the. God, I don't know. Awesome. PBR is about probably about the only thing I I would choose over that. That's the lowest I would go over that. I don't know about still reserve or 
you know, some harder hang. The only thing that I would, <laughs> I would give that is if I had a whole bunch of them, it'd be very dangerous because it doesn't really feel like you don't taste it. Good. And it is yeah, five eight. To yeah. its point, it's a five eight. So, so the, that's but a positive. at the same time, it's one of those. It can be dangerous. Yeah. And I, and I'm gonna go ahead and go on a limb right here. Oh, you can go ahead. This is gonna be a bloodbath. Oh yeah. This is this is. Whew. I think this is one we've all three had before. Yeah. And yeah, and this is going to be a bloodbath uh, of, of a good, tasting right it's here. It's good and thick for an L2. Yeah. Oh. There's no head on this one. Maybe it's the guy pouring them. Maybe it just, just doesn't like head. head. People have their preferences, man. <laughs> good point. So, I, I'm just... I'm just imagining if these two were playing the the before the balls kicked off, this would be about a 42 point line that we're looking at so far. <laughs> That's a pretty heavy spread there, but do you agree? Yeah, from it, what you know, it looks beautiful. Like it has a nice caramel glow. Uh, nice caramel smell it. glow smell. to it. That smell. Yeah, it's got that sweet. This is a mask. That sweet oak barrel. It, it, the line just went up to 49. Yeah, this is like the Patriots playing like some team. Some team, yeah. Oh yeah, playing the Packers. Different millennium. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Let's chill out, bro. You must have drank too much of that. <laughs> mm. So good. What's the line on the game? Uh, I think it's already going up fifty six. <laughs> it's not even the same. This is a no. This this game right now is. They may have taken it. You off may not board. be an Alabama fan, but it's one of those Alabama playing like. Middle Tennessee State blowouts like it's it's off the board. Up, yeah. Vegas may go ahead and pull it off the board. This yeah. is a guaranteed win. It's not even a close. Yeah, like, you uh, don't even have to turn into the game. This is a, <laughs> this is a scrimmage. Yeah. Like, I agree. This is, it, it, it's, it, you can't go wrong with the with the bourbon barrel L's at any at any time. This one follows suit. We'll talk. I'll talk World Cup now since I'm a soccer fan here. This is England of the day over Sweden. Like this is. I've actually had a few bourbon barrels that just it's overpowering. It's, you don't taste the beer. There's one in my fridge sweet. right now, and I'm not giving any spoilers, but I know exactly what you're saying. This is the one's this got is, the, this oh. one's got the sweetness right off. The yeah, oh this God. one nailed it. This one has all the good, none of the bad. This to me is an eight point five. Actually, I might actually give it a nine, and I'm not basing it on the fact that I already knew the beer and I've had it before. It's just. Good. You I mean, hadn't probably had one in a while, though. No, it's been a while. So. Uh, Notice nobody's killing it because you don't want to. No. I don't uh, want it to go away. I don't yeah. want this taste to go away. I'll stick with the bow about 8.5. Not quite a 9, but damn close. Maybe yeah. But you would buy this. I would nine. buy this beer. Yeah, I would go out and buy this beer. I'd buy a six-pack of this beer weekly, you know. I might go to 8.99. Not quite a 9. Because 8.75. I know this is one of those probably after I get off work. Tomorrow, me and you are going to Oxford. Let's do it. <laughs> I, know, I know we've got some killer ones coming up, so I, I don't want to start the bar at a nine with it being right here. So I agree with you on that. All in agreements, that's at least an eight. At least an eight. Um, we would oh, all go out and buy that one. Oh, yeah, definitely. I would go out of my way to drink that one. I agree. Which, to me, I'm going to be honest with you, I think Bradley nailed it. I think they... That one really hits the perfect. There is no gray area. It hits the sweetness, but it also has the beer. You but it don't still have the, taste the beer. It don't have the murderous aftertaste there's either. No like bitter, he's talking about the overwhelming. Yeah, there's Kentucky no bitterness. Barrel. No, it being an L. There's no spiciness that L's and Pilsners are used to giving. Oh, I'm worried about this one after the last IPA we had. I don't know if it's gonna get any worse than the damn co- uh, the meth making uh, breaking <laughs> breaking bud that we had oh, yesterday. God, the great- Oof. So this one is West Coast Rapper IPA right here in Homewood, Alabama. I'll so. support it just because it's from Alabama. Because I'm, I'm all it's about got a cool, local brewery guy. Like it's got a cool can. It's got a it, it's got a cool meaning behind it. Everybody grew up listening to West Coast rappers it's got in the nice 90s. Sixty-four and Paul on it. I'm expecting. Guys, I was expecting to hear "Boys in the Hood" when you popped the I'm tab a, on it. I'm a good foot and a half, two foot from that, and I can smell hops already. Oh God! I don't think we got a smell test. This I can week. see how thick it is already, and I'm just like. Oh shit! Now it's a party. Do you want some West Coast rap? No, you're welcome. You want some, my babes? <laughs> oh, Holy <man>. shit! <laughs> <laughs> um, can I take a mulligan? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I, 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 hey, right now, 
This is hops. This is liquid hops right now. I always bring up snake handler. This is that snake handler smell. This is the, that heavy hop smell. This is the I'm gonna go brush my teeth after drinking this fucking beer. <laughs> This is definitely. I'm drink a fucking this, of scope. <laughs> let me tell you something. If you took a bumbling idiot moron, like Paul Ruddish in the, in the second Ant Man, and blindfolded that idiot, put him in a room, and this sniff come across his nose, he's gonna say, "It's an IPA beer." Yeah. yeah. This is an IPA beer, whether you're fucking Ray Charles or not. <laughs> God damn. Here's why. Let's I'm go. Dreading. I'm still debating. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's better than the one last night. Oh, fuck no. You like the one last night better? Actually, this is better than the breaking break bug. It's better than that. Okay, I'll give it this. It starts strong. And it, it tails smooth. off. It, it yeah. smooths out. like It tails smooth. off. That's the problem with last night. Hey, it was roll reversal. That, that other one snuck up on you. And what after, you said. With the afterbite. You said, the shit's in my throat my jaw still. I still taste the shit and I ain't had it in my mouth in 20 seconds. This Wait a minute. One, it's creeping back into my mouth. Do you not feel that? Not yet. No, 15, no. 15 seconds later? Yeah. You will. Yeah, I got it. Never mind. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Actually, no, there's a specific IPA. It's put out by Goose Island. That's what this reminds me of. And I can't think of the name. I think it's like High Mountain or something like that. That's what this reminds me of. This is one of those that felt like the joke we made last night when breweries went through that whole who's, who's got the who's got the bigger dick? I'm gonna say it about throwing hops and throwing hops, hops and hops and this hops. This isn't even double IPA, and it's got the hoppiness of a double IPA. It does. It creeps back up. You've yeah. had a. You got to be feeling it by now. Oh yeah, I am. Does it turn you on? Does it make you go from six to midnight in your wares? No, I want to go home like he said and get my fucking toothbrush right now. <laughs> get that taste out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm going to finish it because I'm not going to waste anything, but I, as soon as I leave here, when I go home after I leave set tonight, I'm cleaning my mouth. And, like, and his point last night was, in an IPA ballpark, he said last night's beer was a 7 in an IPA range. In an IPA range, this is around a 6 or 7 in an IPA range. In a standard beer that I would drink, it's around a 5. It's a 7 or 8 in IPA. Like for it's standard, better than this. For a standard IPA. Not to even be a double IPA, the strength of it, the hoppiness. I know that's the whole thing with IPAs is the pissing contest. Like it is. It, they hit all that's the why mar- I quit drinking them. They hit all the marks. Like it's oh, it's extremely oh, hoppy. It it creeps back up on you afterwards. But something I'm gonna go out of my way to drink. Yeah, I know I'm drinking. I'm spending four bucks and drinking PBR. Okay, <laughs> IPA skill. A five beer skill like a point five like this is garbage. This is so better that. than that. Yeah, I'd rather drink that. Wow, this close. Yeah, I can't finish it. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm, dude, <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm, have, I'm, if I'm gonna have to finish this year, you're gonna have to finish this year. I had twice as much as you. Shut up. <laughs> I'm one of these people. I support local breweries. I really do. You can't finish that. You can finish that. <laughs> <laughs> If I'm having to actually choose God, my awesome. taste buds over beer, that's odd for me. I never choose my taste buds over beer. I'm regretting finishing it now. Yeah, me too. I'm going to go brush my teeth in it. <laughs> but. But hey, I mean, that's what we're here for. We're here to say. Regular beer scale. I, I, I said like a point five. We will, do, we will actually drink the worst as long as I, I'm going to go four. I'm going to go four, four point five. I'll go about four. Like, I, if it's the only thing around, maybe I might. I, I'll go out go. and buy beer. <laughs> by yeah, far. I'll actually buy beer. But. Guys, by far, that's one. And we're going to go, I guess, right here. Way I'm sorry, I'm good. sorry. And I've got to say this. A buddy of ours brought it in. He's here watching us now. He's pounding them. Like this is. He's liking it. He's having is, a good time. This is almost top of the scale. This is. I almost hate you right now, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it like this. Oh like, my god! If this is a scale, like ten being like the end here, and then we go to the bottom. <laughs> okay, that's even more insulting than what I just said. <laughs> it, it, I, mean, I don't care if it's home brewery. I don't care if it's hometown brewery. It, like, 
Randall, I like this better than that, but I'm not the consensus. Hill, That's why we got three people. Red Hills the consensus does is this is stuff. better. So I mean, Red Hills is a good brew. Yes, I, they have good stuff. I've enjoyed multiple. As far as their IPA, if that's their standard IPA, uh, then I'll stick with their lagers and their ales like that. Try them. Would you rather drink Red Dog than that? No. Okay. I would just drink water. Nice. <laughs> like I said, it's something that if this was all that was available, I'd go. I'm some beer. Yeah. All right, guys. That's um, going to wrap it up. This is our second one. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's what makes it possible. Uh, for us to keep making videos, and we still got one other contest that we want to tell you guys about right fast. At 100 subscribers to our YouTube page, we will be doing a pretty much meet and greet with us. We will get you if you're about six hours away. If you're I'll local, drive and get you. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a local, that's even better, and then you can just come over. But <laughs> what it is is you get to come here, come and sit with us. Um, you bring up the topic. You bring up the topic. We buy the alcohol and food. We probably get you trash. <laughs> That's you probably drink, what It's fine. We'll drink apple juice with you, whatever. But Brad's got a very special thing to tell you about. Yes. Oh, apparently, God. as we've said before or earlier tonight, somebody took it on themselves to make a, a bet or a dare if we can hit 5,000 subscribers. Somehow, we get one director... That comes up in every discussion, no matter what. And it's coming up in this one the because gorgeous of what we're Michael about. Bay, <laughs> the gorgeous praise the Lord, <laughs> and hell. one of us has said that if we can hit five thousand subscribers, he will get his his beautiful face with long golden locks tattooed on him. Bo, I okay. think you need to talk now. <laughs> okay, so if we can get to five thousand subscribers on YouTube. 5,000 legit subscribers on YouTube. I'm going to get Michael Bay tattooed on my back with a back piece. He's going. Everybody knows my obsession with Captain America. Um, he's going to be holding a Captain America shield with a Decepticons emblem on it. Trounced down behind it. Holding so tight, so carefully tight. <laughs> his Oscar. Never get one. His Oscar. <laughs> with his golden... <laughs> Fabio type locks blowing in the wind and his Brad Pitt Fight Club chiseled body <laughs> with two nuclear warheads blowing up in the background because he blows up the world in every film. I'm going to have that as a back piece put on me by a local tattoo artist. So, with that being said... And we are going to live stream the tattoo. When he's getting the tattoo done, we are going to live We're going to live stream it. And if you are a local tattoo artist and you would like to, you know, like submit your spot for this, because we will get to 5,000. We will get to 5,000 subscribers. Go ahead and throw us up a piece. We want to see it. In one week's time, you know, we're over 50 subscribers and about 600 views on our stuff. And how many hours did you say? It's around like 1,400. We've had 1,400 hours of viewing in one week, um, people viewing our stuff. And we're promise you just getting started we're going to get the 5,000 and I'm going to have a Michael Bay tattoo uh, across my back it's not going to be my most proud moment but it is going to be my most proud moment at the same time because this is our baby okay, so we're going to do it I guess at 10k me and Brad will play rock paper scissors to see Whew. if we have to take the I, 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 guess, I, went, I, just, I went small I come up with the 100 subscribers contest this is yours I you have to one up that. I, I, I don't know, know if I, I can do. do. <laughs> I mean, besides the bro on my house, I mean, I kind of already. What if we put that. a Ghostbusters reboot emblem? No, I'd kill myself. <laughs> 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 Let's go go full on Ghostbusters reboot emblem. No, I, I on your belly button, around your belly button. No, come on, dude, that's fair. Well, I've got Michael fucking Bay on my back with I nukes know. blowing up and a damn Captain that's America so shield. Though, guys. I would rather have Michael Bay on my fucking back than that. <laughs> I mean, I would take, so I would have to take a big pile of shit on my back over like the Ghostbusters emblem. Like anything better than that. Okay, guys, we're gonna wrap this one up. This has been probably our funnest. I, I guess to definitely say, guys, we're gonna wrap this one up. This is our okay, second one. Last beer. question for Go ahead. everybody. Uh, if y'all do have an idea for 10K, since it's kind of on me, uh, I'll be all game to hear it. And if it has anything to do with the new Ghostbusters, y'all may not see me again because I may kill myself. <laughs> no, I do. I actually do have one question. This being our second craft discussion, if y'all have any brews you think yes, you for know, sure. we can Thank possibly you. find around the area we live in, or if we maybe even have to order it online <laughs> or hunt it down, we will. Give us some ideas. What are some of your favorite microbreweries, some of your favorite craft beers? Shout out to Mike King for, for bringing the West Coast Rapper IPA. Kind of a shout out because now we all got a 
<laughs> brush our teeth and shit. I guess <laughs> I'd rather have the taste of vomit in my mouth. Hey, but I'm glad he brought it though, because yeah. it, it definitely, it's definitely. It's, it's the first. It's the first thing we found that we truly hated. So yeah. we, it's my thing though. But with that, we're out, y'all. See you guys. Out.